high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC. And even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts. Ready. So here we go, round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Choi's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly makes up the target. Tight to behold. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. I mean, that right hand landed square. Nice combination there by Gedalia. Got the single collar tie. Nice strike. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Counters upstairs with the right. Oh, huge hook. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Wow, actually got the takedown. Now he touches him with the left. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Another beautiful takedown. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Back mount now. 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, oh. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his right. corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Huge shots there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ooh, what a punch. Straight right hand now, just misses. Starting to do some really... Oh! Just missed with the left there. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Just misses with the straight right. Just over three minutes to go. Try to establish that jab. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, that's a good strike there by Gedalia. Oh, single collar tie here. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, he is clearly faded in this one. And I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, flush knee to the... Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Good stick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. 
The Korean Superboy gets hit by that kick to the body. Whiffs on the right hand. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. He missed with that jab attempt there. Great punch. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Cadelia. Guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. Ten minutes in the books. He had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through that. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. How about that shin? Unable to connect with the right. Nice punch there. Just misses there with the left. Big left hand lands upstairs. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. A glancing right hand upstairs. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice punch there by Short. Way to hide that leg kick. And he continues to work the body here. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And they separate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big power shot there. They continue to exchange. Big punch lands through the middle. Gadelia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Superman punch now. Just missed with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, so the taller fighter lands on me and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice punch by Gedalia.
blocks the shot. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Lands with the right hand. with that right hand. Beautiful punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Gedalia's uppercut is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Waning seconds here of round number three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Joy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Good punch. Oh, well-timed overhand there by Gedalia. Watch knees to the body. Oh, a single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Dig and kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. And they separate. Gedalia's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Missed with that attempt. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. 
Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Blocks the shot. Oh! Straight right, he misses. Some nice back and forth action here. Straight right hand, no good. Nice punch there by Gadil. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Gets touched by that kick to the body. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous 